Hello to everybody. Coming on time, by the way, which is um, our ambitious, sometimes not fulfilled. Hello, and thanks for having me. <laughs> Again, thanks for having me and giving me the opportunity to share some thoughts about green tech and Deutsche Bahn and what it's all about. And I guess it's fair to say, development of green technologies requires brain power, requires intelligence, ingenuity, and usually years of really hard work, trial and error, and failures and setbacks included. And it's all the more important to honor this journey, this commitment, and give this a platform to show the results and to share the journey. And that is precisely what the Green Tech Festival is about. And that is precisely the reason why we as Deutsche Bahn are proud to contribute to this idea and are part of this Green Tech Festival as one of the festival partners. And thanks to you, Nico, for the invitation and for the initiation of this great festival. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> we know, as for quite a time now, um, you have been and still are one of the faces of our corporate campaigns. And for me personally, it was a, was a very exciting and impressive experience to learn and get to know each other with you and learn that you share the same vision in terms of mobility of the future, which must be a sustainable and a green mobility. It was very, very impressive. And um, thanks for this um, personal experience uh, as well. Okay, so let's talk about green tech. Let's talk about green tech and Deutsche Bahn uh, and whether this resonates. Let me probably reframe that question a little bit in to two questions and answers. The first one is Deutsche Bahn a green company? Here my answer is a clear yes. Rail in general and Deutsche Bahn in particular are green. There is no other transport mode that is so eco-friendly as the railway system. This is common wisdom, unchallenged truth, except probably for Donald Trump, uh, we shouldn't care too much about. And there is no other transport mode who is so immobile. At Deutsche Bahn, in our railway system, we have more than 90% of the traffic volume that is e-mobile. More than 90%. Looking at the street currently, we are talking about less than 1%. So you can fairly say that when others are talking about e-mobility as a kind of future vision, at railway systems holds true more or less for all over the globe. We are talking about a history of almost a century. And on the back of that, that we are talking about mainly electric power in our system, the railway system is probably the only transport mode who can rise to the challenge to introduce renewable energy to the entire system. Currently at Deutsche Bahn, we have a share of some, in this year, 60% of renewable energies in our current traction. 60%. In the public grid, we talk about a little bit more than 40%. So we are clearly ahead in our energy grid. But we don't rest on these laurels. We feel ambitious in order to enhance this energy and climate-friendly transport mode means that we want to be bold in terms of 
getting as fast as possible to the 100% renewable energies. Our interim goal is 80% in 10 years, 2030, and we don't want to wait until 2050, until we are totally climate neutral. That's our ambitious, and that is building on the overall climate-friendly transport mode. So to wrap it up, in a way, rail in general, Deutsche Bahn in particular, is green. The other question is Deutsche Bahn a tech company? My answer is probably not as ambitious and bold, uh, but a little bit more modest. Of course, railway is a system that is dependent on technology. Rail has been, let's say, heavy metal from the very beginning. My balance sheet is something like 60 billion euros with assets, mainly infrastructure and rolling stock. So quite clearly, technology plays a role in our system. Does this make us a tech company? Probably not. But it was different in the very beginning. And the very beginning, no one is probably here who can remember that time, more than 180 years ago. Railway system was the first startup of the first industrial revolution. And there was a lot of entrepreneurial spirit. There was a lot of innovative power. There was a lot of creative power and people who are really committed to drive that system forward. And railway industry was a main winner back then of that new steam technology, which described the first indus industrial revolution. If you ask technology experts nowadays, I think it's fair to say that they would reframe that at least over the last 180 years, big technological transformation and big innovative leaps have not happened yet. Innovation power is too low and innovation cycle is too long. So if you had asked me for some eight years ago whether Deutsche Bahn is a tech company, my answer would have been clearly no. But time is different and things are changing. Since seven or eight years, we have began to embrace technology, innovation, and digitalization positively. And we are picking up pace. And I want to give you some anecdotal evidence in this respect. Together with our shareholder, the Federal Republic of Germany, we are keen to really make that technological leap in the entire system. At the very core, we are talking about the digital rail system here in Germany. It aims to digitalize the entire system and the entire operation with a really giant leap in terms of capacity, in terms of service quality, reliability, robustness of the entire system. And I don't want to deep dive into this too much, but to give you at least a clue about what we are talking about. In total, we are thinking about some 23 technology clusters that we need for that kind of technological leap and digital rail. And only four of them, only four of them are currently active in our system. So we are talking about some almost 20 technology clusters where we don't have a clue at the moment where the engineering power is coming from. And to give you one example, we are, of course, talking about obstacle detection in our system, which is not necessary right now, because we are more or less driving on site. And the challenge is totally different from street and cars. We are not talking about some 50 meters or 100 meters in terms of obstacle detections. We are talking about three to four kilometers because trains, high-speed trains, are as fast and getting down to 
uh, speed of zero is taking such a long time. So the challenge, the technological challenge, is very different. And insofar, we have to introduce experts, technological experts, to make sure that we make this giant technological leap. And all over this place, we are talking about what you know. We are talking about condition-based maintenance. We are talking about big data application, about the technology transformation all over the system. And to give you um, a clue, that means we need to have really experts in our system. And Deutsche Bahn is currently one of the leading recruiters of digital nerds, of high qualified engineers to drive this technology forward. But it's not only the core system from a production point of view. It's the interface to the customer as well. We want to increase the customer journey, the customer experience, and some examples as well. We will increase and are on our way for a better experience with our DB Navigator, which is, by the way, Germany's most popular travel app. Part of this is, for example, we are trying check-in, check-out, be-in, be-out technology. Comfort check-in is currently running. Uh, Nico knows about that uh, because he has shown it in one of our uh, campaigns. And we are definitely on our way in terms of increasing apps and other products uh, to get a better companion for our customers in terms of traveling and journey experience. We want to get one step further in terms of multimodal companion experience, so that our customer journey and our support for our customers is a kind of navigation system for public transport, including other modes of transport, ride-sharing, car-sharing, bike-sharing, whatever, in terms of a better customer experience and reducing barriers of entries for people who have not run our products so far. We at DB want to make substantial contribution to that in, let's say, three areas. And uh, if you have the chance to um, visit our booth here at the festival, uh, you are uh, invited to get a better experience, hands-on experience later on. First one, offering our own on-demand services in terms of last mile delivery. We have been running the very first worldwide, the very first public autonomous bus service uh, somewhere in Bavaria um, and uh, are really trying to get experience in terms of customer, in terms of production, stuff like that. Secondly, we are creating digital platforms, multimodal platforms uh, with our Mobimeo technology that will be part of that booth as well, giving customers access to integrated travel experience and facilitating cooperation with other transport modes. And last but not least, there's a kind of renaissance for our passenger stations as well, making them the core hub and the heart chambers of smart city projects. We have pilot projects in Hamburg and in other areas of Germany and elsewhere where we are talking about interconnecting with other transport modes as well and this reaches from electric e-scooters until even flight taxis we are currently experiencing, Manuel. If you want to, more, want to know more about this, please visit our DB booth um, and you will see some other things as well, for example, drones that help us observing our infrastructure. You will see a kind of idea train in our passenger transport division um, and here you see if you unleash the innovative and creative potential, there is, a, there is no really border line between being creative and being crazy. So um, let, um, let you uh, give the time and uh, get surprised what we are really offering. Time will tell and that is probably one of the things uh, you learn as well. As you go, you will find what is really working, what is really uh, accepted by the customer, 
and you keep the good stuff, you leave the other one, try to fail fast and cheap and uh, constantly are part of a learning organization. To combine the two fold answer, green and tech, I guess it's all about the following equation. The more we embrace in a positive way technology, innovation, and digitalization, the more we can foster our rail system and strengthen the rail system, and the more we can really contribute to green mobility and to a sustainable way and contribute to the climate change we all have and make sure that Mother Earth is secured for the generations to come. Most important probably in all of this from a cultural point of view is that we have learned that this way and innovation simply requires a different way of working and working together. You shouldn't be too arrogant to think that you know everything and if there are new things to learn, you can make it on our own. That is what we experienced over the last couple of years. We've introduced a kind of ecosystem for exactly this innovation labs for new ideation, for trying things, trying stuff, and they are very far away from our big corporate guidelines. So in terms of creating the kind of ecosystem in order to make sure that uh, you unleash that innovative, creative uh, potential, uh, we have indeed implemented quite a lot of things in our organization and tried to create a kind of partnership to the outside. You have just seen, I've uh, uh, seen her, Claire Jones, for example, some three years ago. Um, we have been part of her discussion as well, decided in two or three weeks that we we'll want to partner with What Three Words because we have seen the potential of that. So, and some 10 years ago, we would have never thought about something like that. Um, we we'll probably try to acquire that, uh, that company, but uh, meanwhile, we came to clearly the conclusion that it's not always having full control, it's having partnership and creating things together and um, simply making moves in the right direction. So, our technological, our tech journey is really all about being clear that it must be a shared journey with others. And to come back to this festival again, this festival is all about the same thing. This event and this audience is full of great people, brilliant guys and ideas and smart things we have to share with others. And my colleagues and I are very much eager to get to know to you, to share with you experiences and to try to find out whether there are ways of collaborating, joining forces, and sharing the same view and driving the good things going forward. With this in mind, I'm looking forward to have my own visit of this festival and the booth, and to exciting discussions and informative talks. I wish you an inspiring day, and once again, thanks for having me.